All right, so now, yeah, things are a little worse. Let's see what happens. <laughs> really just, ah! <laughs> I'm Joshua Bardwell, and you're gonna learn something today. A little while back, I showed you how to set up what might be the most exciting feature of Betaflight 4.1, at least in terms of making your quadcopter fly better. That is the RPM filtering feature. What we're gonna do today is, this is a problem quad for me. It has just never had great prop wash handling. I don't know why, and today, I don't even care. We're gonna fly this quad on Betaflight 406, we're gonna fly it on Betaflight 4.1, and we're gonna see what kind of a difference RPM filtering makes. Now my approach to tuning filters with Betaflight 4.0 has been to follow Mark Spatz, UAV Tech is his YouTube channel, to follow his advice. And as long as the motors are not too hot, you can basically disable all of these filters and then, and then you change this last D term filter to 60, 175 hertz, bi-quad, and that is where you leave it. If you do this at home, do not Turn off all of these things at once. You risk smoking your motors. Turn them off one at a time. And if you're on Betaflight 4.1, do not do this. But this is basically where my tune would end up. And I'm just going to jump the gun and go there for the sake of making this video. The other major thing that I probably would do is I would disable D-min. This will result in hotter motors, but more consistent D-turn performance. And uh, we're going to take a chance on getting some warmer motors. And we'll see how it goes. Now, as I fly this, I am gonna pay a little bit of attention to any signs of excess uh, electrical noise, vibration, degain, not enough filtering, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get away with this without smoking a motor or having any problems. Oh, I've also stacked the deck by putting 50-50 props on here, really high pitch props, which will have particularly bad prop wash handling with lots of thrust. Probably, I'm not gonna notice any big difference in stick feel, but we should get a lot smoother motors and a lot better prop wash handling with these filter settings. Oh yeah, it's much better. I'm seeing some small twitches that I think might be Big improvement. There was some prop wash there. So I can still bring it out in these moves. There, I got, I got some. So this is close to as good as it's going to fly on Betaflight 4.0. Um, you can tweak certain things for stick feel, like the I-term relax threshold. And of course, we could be a little bit more, we could dig a little deeper with like adjusting P gains, D gains, and so forth. But the majority of a good flying quad comes from reducing the latency of the PID loop. And by turning off all these filters, we've really done that. So let's try it on Betaflight 4.1. So here we are in Betaflight 4.1, and I'm gonna start by not running the RPM filters so we can see what kind of effect the RPM filters are gonna have. We're gonna run an 8K8K gyro and PID loop. We're gonna run D-Shot 600. We are not gonna run bi-directional D-Shot. And here in the PID profile, let's, uh, let's go ahead and disable D-min, which I already did, and we'll save that. And... We're gonna leave the filters completely at their defaults. Or are we? I don't think I'm gonna actually fly the default filters because we know that this quad is capable of running with less filtering than default. So I'm gonna skip over this step and I'm gonna turn the filters to less filtering. Um, in Betaflight 4.1, you don't do, you don't disable the filters like I did in 4.0. You just move these sliders to the right. Can we get? How far can we go? Yeah, I'm gonna go a little further. Please proceed with caution. How much filtering can I get away with? Yeah, okay, let's see what happens. Let's see if it freaks out or I smoke a motor. I don't know. 
I bet I'll get away with it. Let's find out. Oh yeah, you, I don't, can you guys see those bobbles? Even when I'm flying straight, I'm getting crazy, like, yeah, oh yeah, this is, this is bad. You see, even when I'm flying straight, I'm getting little bumps and oscillations. Not really oscillations, just little bumps. This is not good. A little skip there. Yeah, this is, the, oh, it's so bad. The prop wash handling is, I mean, I guess it's not terrible. I guess the prop wash handling isn't terrible, but the overall flight characteristics are just really so not good. No prop wash there, but I just don't love the overall flight characteristics. So, Bring it in and let's turn the RPM filter on. Before I show you that final flight where I, like I go totally bonkers, breaking props, keep flying, just testing the filters to the nth degree to see if they can keep my motors cool and keep me flying. Before I show you that flight, I want to show you the settings that I used for that flight. These are my sort of final best filter settings for Betaflight 4.1 with RPM filter. And there's an important difference here between what I told you to do in my RPM filter setup video, you gotta know about this. The difference is in my RPM filter setup video, I told you to set the RPM filter harmonics number to one. Chris Thompson, a Betaflight developer and an expert on black box tuning, made a really strong argument that this should be set to three, which is the default. And his argument boils down to the difference in latency between two and three is really small and there's not enough filtering on one. That's the long and short of it. So I've done some side-by-side -side testing that is not in this video comparing one to three, and I agree with him. I think you should leave this at three and, and okay. So then the other thing that uh, you might be wondering is which is, where should these sliders go and how should these filter settings be? And I did some testing where I compared just moving the sliders all the way to the right, which decreases the filtering versus duplicating the UAV tech filter setting, right, that I showed you at the beginning where you actually disable filters. And again, talking to Chris Thompson, I found that the this is actually less latency than the UAV tech approach and is a little bit better for most people's quads. So this is where I'm gonna be starting all of my quads for best performance with Betaflight 4.1. Now, you should be aware that if you don't, uh, some quads will smoke motors and have flyaways if you move these sliders all to the right. I've never had a quad that I built that couldn't handle this, but especially if you're a beginner, especially if you're working with sort of cut rate parts, especially if you're just not confident, start with these sliders at the default and slowly move them to the right, testing for hot motors and flyaways in between. But this is gonna be my starting position. And these are the settings that I'm gonna show you in this video right now. And, and as I watched this in post, I could see some wiggles and jiggles and bobbles. This is not a perfect flying quad, but I, I want you guys to remember, I specifically picked this quad because it was flying and had a real problem. And I think we've made a big, big improvement. I wanted to demonstrate in this video how the RPM filters in Betaflight 4.1 could take a troubled quad and make it better, not how they could take an already great flying quad and keep it, oh look, it still flies great. So as you watch this, please keep that in mind and, um,
motors are not hot. Let's keep flying, despite the fact that, yeah, it's pretty chewed up. Let's see how good these filters are. Hmm? Things are a little worse. Let's see what happens. <laughs> How are the motors? Not hot. Motors are not hot. They're not getting hot. I can't freaking believe it. <laughs> uh, Wow. Could we disable the static filters entirely? Would it get even better? Could we just disable the D-term filter? And... Let's do it. It's risky. Let's do it. Oh, okay. That's what happened. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. You see why I was being so careful when I was screwing around with the filters earlier? Because that's what happens. <laughs> Okay, I didn't even raise the throttle. I just armed it and it flipped out. Motors are warm just from that little pop. So, okay, so <laughs> this is as good as it's going to get on this quad. How good is it? How good did that seem compared to your favorite firmware, whether that's Betaflight 357, 406, Flight 1, Emu Flight, Kiss, you name it. <laughs> Only you can, you know, you can look at the video and you can decide for yourself. I'm very, very happy though. I do think that this is the most solid foundation of filtering from which to start your PID tune. And in case you didn't know, that is where filter, that's where PID tuning starts is with a good filter setup with the least amount of latency possible while still not getting hot motors or jitters or flyaways. And once we've got that amount of filtering, the prop wash minimized, we can then work on tuning the PIDs. But that is going to be a topic for another video. Thank you guys so much for following along. In case you didn't know, I've got a whole playlist of Betaflight 4.1 topics, helping you answer all the questions you might have about Betaflight 4.1. Check it out. It's linked down in the video description. Also, if you value content like this, this is my full-time job. I know it's crazy, isn't it? But one way you can help support me in making this kind of content is by joining my Patreon. Link in the video description down below. Thank you guys so much. It's going to do it for this one. Happy flying.